If I were to tell you that traditional archery was easy, I think I would be leading you astray. It's very challenging, in fact, and I do believe that that challenge makes the success much sweeter. Uh, two falls ago, uh, on a November morning, I actually missed five deer before 9 a.m. with a recurve. And I didn't give up on that morning. I pressed on, and a month later, I made a perfect shot on a mature doe. And that was such a sweet feeling. Um, I, I believe the traditional journey has made me a better person. I believe it's helped me overcome obstacles, helped me persevere, it's helped me be determined to succeed. And for that, I'm very thankful. So I wanna give you a glimpse of my uh, journey of the 2018 season. Throughout the summer, I released thousands of practice arrows and often caught myself daydreaming uh, about the upcoming season, and I was very optimistic about what lied ahead. I really enjoyed my first two hunts of the season. I saw a lot of animals, and I saw a lot of deer. Uh, none of the deer were within 20 yards, but I was really having a good time and the season was going well. October 14th was the first cold front of the fall and I had some does walk right under my stand and uh, they presented me with a shot at 15 yards. Making a great shot on this doe was a rewarding feeling and I felt like my practice and hard work throughout the summer had finally paid off. After taking that first doe, I had a drive in me that wanted to do it again. I wanted to prove to myself that it wasn't just luck, but that I could actually execute a controlled shot multiple times and I just wanted to build my confidence and on October 21st I'd have my opportunity.
After shooting this doe in the heart, um, I've got to say my confidence was at an all-time high with traditional gear and the rut was right around the corner and it was very exciting to have that much confidence going into the rut. On November 9th, I would have an encounter that we dream about all year long. My arrow actually hit a limb and it glanced to the left and totally missed the buck. But I understood that this wasn't the end and that I was determined to push on, to press on. And the only way I would ever get my first buck with a longbow is if I didn't give up. The next evening, my dad actually harvested the biggest buck of his life and I was able to be there and enjoy that moment with him. And that was, that was quite a fun evening. The rut would come and go, and I would still be out there grinding. And my persistence paid off on the evening of December 10th, and I had the opportunity that I had been looking for. As I released the bow string, my elbow was against the tree and it caused the string to hang up on my fingers and it threw my shot off to the right. I always spend extra time making my broadhead scary sharp and it paid off. We followed the blood trail right to the deer. The 2018 deer season is over. With that drive and that determination and that desire to constantly be improving and getting better, that lives on. The journey continues for me and I'm very excited to see what the future might hold. Philippians 3.14 I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ. Folks, to be honest, this world's full of struggles. It's full of overcoming obstacles. But I tell you what, there is a sweet, sweet eternal rest that waits for us if we stay faithful to God. So I just want to encourage you that there is hope, there is a God, and that He wants you to keep pressing towards Him. And guys, I really appreciate you watching and in sharing my season. And I hope that you always remember to shed the light.